Hello, my name is Bruce and I'd like to do a review of my Vault Rolling Tool Chest. It's rather impressive. So, I'm a extremely highly trained uh, monkey and extremely overpaid. And this is what I think about the toolbox here. So, it's 165 pound weight capacity, which I'm really, really happy about. And oftentimes when I'm going to work, I, I'm a one-man show. And I don't really want to be carrying anything. Uh, even though it's nice to have animal strength, I don't want to be using it all the time. So, before I even open up the toolboxes, there's a few things I'd like to say. It works with the Dwelt Tough System uh, toolboxes there. Uh, it actually registers with some ridges that protrude above the toolbox lid. So, I don't have anything actually, that nothing latches or clips into place like it does with the rest of the modular system, but it does lash together with the lines up here at the feet and also with uh, protruding ridges at the top there for a somewhat secure lock. And for the rest, you do a ratchet strap from the uh, bar set on the side here. You have, if you're going to be transporting the toolboxes, you, you can put the toolboxes on sideways like this, but it sits on the rails. Uh, Dwelt was smart enough to uh, hopefully stop people from uh, stacking toolboxes side by side and trying to carry an immense, an absurd amount of uh, tools in one go. You know, which if you're doing that, stop it. You look, you look crazy. You know, this on, on itself is you know borderline, but it's nice uh, if you can handle it. And I don't say I use a low ro a low ride van. It's really easy to get in the toolboxes there. You know, lift up the front and you know, push the rest in. It has a flat bottom there for sliding easily. It uh, moves up and down stairs really nice. You know you don't have to wait till you get into the next landing to take a rest. It has a lip on there where it wants it wants to rest. It wants to stay there. So. Uh, another nice add, add on to the way to well, my, uh, the, uh, the thought process of making this toolbox here. It's really nice. So, inside the toolbox, I can show you is how I use it. And I'm pretty sure I used up the full 165 pound weight limit there. Latches are the same latches as the 12 Tough System 1.0. You can see I prefer over that 2.0 for a few various reasons. Uh, there's a few modifications I've done to the lid here on the toolbox. So I've got a rapid charger for any batteries uh, that I'd be. I not need to be charging on the job site. Uh, usually I bring enough to take care of the full day. But if there's a tool I'm using and I need to, that uses a huge amount of power draw, then yeah, I have the rapid charge for those times. I also incorporated a light, which I've ended swivels. It's from a headlamp. I've actually seen this incorporated into another video I watched on somebody else's toolboxes. I thought it was pretty cool. Thank you. Uh, and this toolbox is filled right to the top. I'm very happy with the way I've used the space that I've been given to use with the dimensions of the box, which I believe run to uh, roughly uh, 40 inches by 24 by 24. Uh, another thing that I carry here is a high density 
impact ready foam knee pad here which I just so happened to steal from my children's playroom you know, they have a, a huge variety of resources for me to use and it just keeps replenishing it's amazing if you have children use them they're pretty great and once you're done go take more it keeps replay it keeps forget you they keep getting everything and I don't know where it comes from unbelievable so another attachment we have here is the nozzle for the m18 leaf blower uh, super duper handy tool to have for cleanup and keeping your work area clean or even your work vehicle clear case that I like to use for any disassemble of any repairs or maintenance that I'm doing on any projects that I'm working on. Uh, you're taking apart your screws, bolts, nuts, o-rings, uh, etc. It's, uh, it's nice and if you don't finish that day you close the lid and you know, come back the next day or whenever. Two foot level fits in there really nice. There's so there's there's a lot of room in there. There's so much storage you could put a, a large variety of tools in here. Like I said, that nozzle, I could never get it to fit in any of the twelve tough system toolboxes. Uh, another clear case that I like to carry is most of the tools in here are power tools and the attachments that go with them. Uh, consumables so but you know it's nice when you need a little hand saw or uh, adjustable crescent wrench some needle nose pliers or some uh, pinching pliers or, uh, uh, or sockets or uh, ratchet set it's nice you know you don't have to go back and forth from tool tool box or tool van or up and down the flight of stairs that you just finished carrying your 64 gallon toolbox why would you want to go back down through those stairs, right? Okay. Thank you. No. I'm actually trying to find a way to incorporate a lot of these smaller tools into the lid here so I don't have to go through such a process. You know, if I get in, if I want to go and grab a, a tool from the bottom there, I like to work my toolboxes in such a way where I could just open it up, grab whatever tool I need, uh, close the box and go. Put it back the same way. You know, it's a nice process that way you can see if anything is missing. It just, at the first glance, it's really nice. I, I really uh, recommend that you run your system like that if you have a large system to work with. Next is the Dwarf Malt Attacker. It uh, works with uh, staples and brad nails. It's pretty nice. Uh, here's the all the nails, staples, and that go with the tacker here too. Now this box is going to be generally geared towards woodworking. Uh, you know, woodworking is usually the trade that requires most tools for any shaping or cutting or whatever you need to be doing to work with materials that you're working with. Uh, tool bags, uh, more tool bags to carry out any other individual tools for any process of whatever you're doing, job you're doing. Here's the blower that goes with that nozzle. It's the Gen 2, I think it goes up to 190 kilometers. What is that in miles? 120? Uh, I think it was 450 CFM. It's super powerful. It's nice to not have to pull out the shovel. Where I 
live. It's often minus 40 below, and I'm very happy with the performance that I'm getting out of the Milwaukee Duels. And, uh, it's definitely worth its weight in this cold weather, I'll tell you that. Here's a tool toad that came with one of the uh, 12 tough system toolboxes and it fits uh, well into the uh, rolling tool chest. It didn't come with one, I sure wish it did. The, it works great. I keep all the attachments and uh, consumables that's needed for all these tools in here, along with some flashlights and marking and uh, squares and Knives, safety gear, yada yada. Uh, Stanley, eighteen and a half inch uh, magnetic nail setting framing hammer with a waffle face. Uh, it's a nice hammer. I I like it. Don't swing it much, but when I do, this is the hammer I choose to swing for frame uh, woodwork anyway. Uh, when my metal worker and welder slash fabricator by trade, but I like to dabble in the, a lot of other things. I'm a general contractor. My Connie's uh, tool belt which is actually a gift from my wife, uh, which actually used to belong to her. And she's a ex-carpenter. Mother to my four, four beautiful children. Okay, so the process and storing and laying out the rest of the tools, well, yeah, I guess the rest of the tools, the rest of the be power tools that you see here it goes up from breakdown and uh of your uh, breakdown rough cuts of any material that you're going to be working with up to the finer trim work and shaping and sanding uh, so this uh is how i outfitted the toolbox here it actually has rivets on the side there for you to throw down some half inch thick plywood to uh, use as dividers and I've put down a seven and a quarter inch quarter circular saw a jigsaw a heat gun and a seven inch angle grinder uh, next to those I have a dwelt a 20 volt max recip saw and a Milwaukee Salzal. I think that was their Gen 2 non brushless uh, tools there. Now, the Milwaukee I use for cutting steel that has a nice straight cut while the Dwelt has a more orbital action geared towards ripping and cutting through wood at a fast pace. Uh, they work good together. I like them. Uh, beside those, we have the palm sander. Uh, high performance jigsaw, the multi tool, and the palm router. And under those tools uh, sits the consumables that go with them. We got the 5 inch uh, sanding paper with multiple grits, the multi tool blades that you know you were used for cutting plastics, metal, or wood. Uh, jigsaw blades that sit under the jigsaw and beside that we carry the M18 six and a half inch uh, framing uh, circular saw with the M12 Gen 2 drill driver and quarter inch impact uh, along with the M18 fan leaf blower to speed up the process of a lot of the uh, products that I work with. 
so that is a pretty big toolbox now uh, like I said it's a uh, weight limit is 165 pounds very really it's really really nice to move it up and down stairs anywhere I go uh, to take a lot of tools at once this is the way I prefer uh, thank you very much I appreciate your interest in this video and have yourself a great day bye for now